Hello all, welcome to Developing Success. This is the second lecture of the India State of Forest Report 2019 and uh, this is an important uh, topic for prelims 2020 and also mains 2020 because it has been released in December 2019. This is a biennial report which is released every two years actually and the last time it was uh, released was in 2017 that is why it was not very much important uh, uh, for the 2019 exam and 2018 exam because it was not a kind of current affair for them but for you it will be a kind of current affair into 2020 exam so we start see in 1985 actually the department of forest in india was converted to the ministry of forest uh, ministry of environment and forest so this Ministry of Environment actually was newly uh, created and it started great initiatives and many acts were also passed uh, in this decade. So uh, they released a National Forest Policy of India 1988 very uh, near to this date 1985. So actually the main focus, the main goal of this forest policy was that that 33% of geographical area of the country should be under forest cover and tree cover. Okay. So the specific tree cover uh, is mentioned here because they omitted the scrubland and grassland from this. So the main forest they considered as a tree cover area. 33% was their goal. In 2019 report we found that the total forest cover in India was 21.67%. Okay. So around 12% less than what the 1988 policy says. And there is 1.14% of scrubland also that totally accounts for 23.08%. So if they ask you in the examination around 22% is the forest area, is the tree cover area. And if you also uh, add the scrubland, it will be 23%. Still, we are 10% less than what was uh, the goal in 1980A. So uh, scrubland is where is, it is bush, grasses, herbs and geophytes. Please comment on the comment section what is geophytes. And if you don't have seen the scrubland, it is like this in the uh, comparatively uh, no, not dry areas. But the scrubland in the arid and the desert area will be like this, this one. Now we come to the data. So the top uh, five with largest forest cover states in India are first is Madhya Pradesh. See. Actually, this data, uh, the largest forest cover is not in their particular state that how much uh, their state has uh, is having the forest area. So this is uh, the date. This data, uh, this data relates to the uh, thing that the particular state is contributing to the percentage area in the whole country. So in the whole country, if we measure Madhya Pradesh is providing us the largest forest area land. Okay. So Madhya Pradesh is the largest area. Second is your Arunachal Pradesh. Third is Chhattisgarh, fourth Odisha and fifth Maharashtra. If I uh, talk about Madhya Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh has nine national parks, six tiger reserves and Maharashtra also has nearly five tiger reserves. So these are very forested states. So they are uh, the highest one. Madhya Pradesh, remember for exam point of view. Next, we are doing that this uh, forest cover in their state so which state has the largest for forest cover so mizoram in the mizoram state itself around 85 percent for 41 area is forest area so it is too much 85 percent next is arunachal pradesh 79.63 percentage i just tell you one more thing that this uh, data this year uh, arunachal pradesh has lost some forest cover yes arunachal pradesh has lost some forest cover and that is why it has come to the second position of the forest cover 79 percent of the total state is actually the forest third is your meghalaya fourth is manipur fifth is nagaland so mizoram will be important for this year and remember all our northeastern states which are contributing more than 75 percent of their area as forest more than 75 percent of the area so if this is their state actually uh, this uh, amount of area will be their forest area so this is too much next the overall gain is actually 3976 square kilometer in comparison to 2017 data and uh, the karnataka state has the highest gain this uh, biennial report to 1025 square kilometer they have gained as the forest area second is andhra pradesh third kerala and fourth is jammu kashmir these three if you don't remember it will do but you should remember this karnataka they have the largest forest area gain 
in this report loss in the forest cover you should remember all the three states these are the only three states which has which have recorded the lost in the forest cover they are manipur around 500 square kilometer arunachal pradesh and mizoram okay next is your eight northeastern states they have said that these eight northeastern states arunachal assam manipur meghalaya mizoram nagaland sikkim and tripura actually they contribute around 8% of the area in indian state but they are providing us with 25% of the forest cover in india so in in the whole total calculation of the forest cover 25% is contributed by these eight states and they only take 8% area of india so and the data also mentions about shifting cultivation which is slash and burn cultivation uh, because of this slash and burn cultivation there is a fluctuation in the forest cover of these eight northeastern states actually these eight northeastern states practice too much of shifting cultivation or what we can call as zoom cultivation and or what we can call as slash and burn cultivation they actually clear a forest area they burn it down and then they have a cropland in that again when the soil fertility is lost in that particular land they will move to some another forest area they will clear that forest area again all the nutrients the matter will be coming down to the soil that will be going fertile and they will again come up with a cropland area so they move from one land to another that is that is known as slash and burn cultivation next data which they have provided is about the wetland so in the forest cover in this 23% forest cover the largest uh, wetland contribution is from the gujarat state so gujarat has wetlands more number of wetlands in the forest area second is west bengal if you don't remember this data it will do but for reference union territories puducherry and andaman and nicobar islands have more wetlands than other united uh, union territories in terms of wetlands in the forest area and around 8.13% of the total number of wetlands are located within the registered forest area uh, in lecture 1 we did about the registered forest area it is that area which has a legal status it it is that forest area which has a legal status uh, like the national park wildlife sanctuary or it is uh, written in some act like that examples of wetlands inside the legal status forest are ranjit sagar dam pathan kot punjab you have renuka lake sirmor himachal pradesh renuka lake is also a ramsar wetland site we did it in the ramsar lecture next is uh, th this time a special survey they have done is that the namami gange program they have linked the uh, data with the namami gange program and what they have done on the banks of river ganga actually uh, on both the banks the 5 km buffer zone has been taken and they have recorded that which state actually has the largest forest cover on the banks of river ganga in this 5 km buffer zone they have also calculated that if some tributary joins them in this state they have calculated the 2 km buffer zone area okay they have done this for the first time that is why it is important i will cover namami gange program in a separate lecture which is coming up in few days and uh, uh, so the largest state which has the uh, forest cover in uh, in uh, large amounts in the banks of river ganga is uttarakhand which is 40% and west bengal is 18.445% bihar is uh, 2.0% so if we talk about the course of river ganga it starts from the gangotri glacier in uttarakhand and then it goes to uttar pradesh and then it flows through bihar after bihar it just touches jharkhand the sahib ganj districts of jharkhand and then from jharkhand it enters into west bengal and in west bengal near the malda malda district it goes to bangladesh by the name of padma and it comes down uh, to the bay of bengal by the name of hugli river in west bengal so this is the course of river ganga in india and there are five states uttarakhand uttar pradesh bihar jharkhand and west bengal okay so now we see the forest cover this diagram this map is actually given by the india state of forest report and you can see the forest cover here if we do the forest cover uh, you will see there is different shades of green color so the shade which is too much dark is actually the uh, dense forest area so if we see we have a whole lot of forest in the kashmir area and jammu area and we have less in ladakh because ladakh is type of a cold desert 
then again in this himachal pradesh we have we do not have any forest cover here because this is this area is again a cold desert and you also have a cold desert biosphere reserve again if you consider the uttarakhand you do not have uh, forest in this area because these are the areas of glacier the gangotri glacier the bandapunj glacier all the glaciers so here you have proper forest cover along the himalayas the greater lesser and the shivaliks okay then we have forest cover you can see in the eight northeastern states for first is sikkim this is arunachal pradesh this is whole assam this is meghalaya this is nagaland this is manipur this is mizoram and this is your tripura so these actually these eight states have contributed 25% of the forest area in india and they are just 8% area okay so you can see the density in arunachal pradesh and most of these states have more than 75% area under the forest okay now the largest forest cover in the indian state is with the madhya pradesh you can see this area this madhya pradesh the vindhyan range this this actually is the satpura range the meikal range the amarkantak plateau and you have some small badlands here so this state has actually nine national uh, parks and six tiger reserves in them a large state you if you can see the gujarat state they have a whole lot of wetlands so that is why i told you the data that gujarat is gujarat is having the largest uh, area under the wetlands inside the forest and if you see chatisgarh this part you have too much of forest area and then because jharkhand west bengal and odisha they are very near to the coastal parts they have forest area because of the moisture you can see the sundarban uh, wetland here which is in the sundarban forest okay actually what is happening that uh, in the monsoon season the bay, the arabian sea branch of monsoon and the bay of bengal branch of monsoon meets at the amarkantak plateau and because they both obstruct into the amarkantak plateau uh, 100 cm rainfall annually is experienced here and that is why this area is giving rainfall to this whole uh, area and they are receiving forest now if we go to the south india the western coastal plains along the western ghats and also the western ghats this is the nilgiri and also the eastern ghats so javri shivroy part and this is uh, you know nallamalla vela uh, veramalla palikonda velikonda this area this is actually godavari delta this is krishna delta part so you have forest cover here also so the density if you can see it is more in arunachal pradesh so we sum up the lecture here if we sum up the lecture here the largest contribution of the forest area uh, what we are getting is from the madhya pradesh so madhya pradesh is the largest contributor and if we talk about state wise in the particular state the largest area under forest in the particular state is with mizoram okay and uh, the state which has gained the forest in these last 3 years according to the new 2019 data the largest gain has been done by karnataka so it has gained more than 1000 square kilometer of forest and if we talk about the lost ones uh, actually arunachal pradesh manipur these states have lost some forest area you should remember this and then gujarat is having uh, largest area under the wetlands inside the forest so these uh, four you can remember and uh, rest you can revise from the lecture uh, we will meet in the next lecture in part 3 which is uh, in regard to mangroves and uh, this is a, a special uh, chapter which they have added this year in a for a particular coastal habitat that is mangrove so i will uh, come up with a third uh, chapter soon thank you